Hello gorgeous, I am back today and today we're talking about your feminine birthrise, what he must provide. So in the past, I have really shied away from going deep on this topic. There's several topics, this one and the subject of whether women should be having sex before marriage or not. I feel like every time I talk about these topics, there's a part of me that doesn't want to give you my full answer, my full opinion. There's a part of me that says, well, you know, they can decide for themselves. They, everyone's different. But the truth is I do have very strong opinions based on my education, my past, my values. And I would like to just share them with you, even though I think that the reason I shy away from them is because they are very politically incorrect for today's world and the culture that we live in. But I think it must also be said. So I promised the girls in my Divinely Sold course, which is my sales training, that along with them, uh, I'm going to go deeper in not watering down my message and really, really speaking my authentic heart truth. So here we go. I'm going to actually tell you today what I mean by evolutionary basics. So what do I think the man should absolutely provide for? I'm actually just going to spill it out for you and tell you the way that I've always wanted to tell you. So number one is, uh, depending on whether you're, well, actually in any stage, because he should be paying for this after marriage as well. But number one is paying for time together. So meaning if he's taking you out to dinner, if he's taking you out to an experience like a movie or a show, anything that involves time spent with him, he should be paying for. In fact, many men will also like paying for things like you spending time with your girlfriends and things like that. But again, right now in this portion, we're talking about just the evolutionary basics. And so number one would be paying for time together. Now, some men that are not ready, not fully baked, meaning they're not fully considered men. Um, men is an earned title for men, by men. So it's not like we appoint them men. The way in evolution it works is that alpha men appoint other alpha men after they have gone through certain rites of passage. And I teach you about this in my divine union course. And so they, he has to earn that uh, by doing certain things. I didn't make that up. That is just how evolution has appointed it. So sorry guys, but that's just the way it is. And this is what makes them feel healthy and um, feeling like they have earned admiration and respect. So when he is not fully grown, he's going to suggest doing things that are free, like walks in the park or things like that. So, you know, now this may be a little bit different than men who just sort of enjoy those activities. So for example, when I met my husband, you know, he was taking me out, uh, nice fancy dinners and things like that and then when we got married he told me that he every weekend he used to go hiking with his friends before he got married well hiking's not really my thing i am very much into fitness but hiking is not in it like like it's not the thing i grew up doing living in chicago so i showed up hiking in heels uh several times guys i am so sorry we have so much like different projects and work going around in the house that there's always something coming or someone coming or going so i apologize for that so when he suggested he wanted to go hiking with me i showed up hiking in heels because i always wear heels that's just who i am and he tried that with me about two or three times he had to carry me some of the way because my heels and so then we stopped going hiking and <laughs> so you have to sometimes just you know show up as who you are and they'll get the message so that's different than like trying to save money and there might be you know millionaires or billionaires out there that enjoy hiking or walks in the park but typically you know he should also be showing you a healthy man a healthy man will always want to show you what he's worth and what he's capable of that's just how they have evolved and he's got nothing to shy away from so he's going to be whining and dining you and taking you out to nice places. And if he enjoys some of those, you know, lower cost activities, it's not going to be like only that stuff. So paying for time together. Number two is housing. Okay. It is your feminine birthright to be provided housing when you are married to a man. And when I mean housing, you have the right to have 
a place of your own. So this doesn't mean you're living in, you know, his mom's basement and like that's the housing is providing. Whatever you desire, obviously within his means, you know, you know what you're choosing, you know the type of guy you're marrying, you know what age back bracket and he's in and what his income in is. So within that, he's going to provide you with safe shelter. Shelter is as old as homo sapiens and even beyond that, okay? Like this is just something that males provide. So it's not just a human species thing. Males of all species provide certain things and housing is one of those evolutionary basics. Um, number three is food, okay? So men are hunters and hunting means he goes and gets the meat and it might be in the form of other things now. Maybe you're vegan and he goes and gets the tofu, but whatever it is, he provides the food for you, okay? So, and then number four is clothing. Clothing comes under shelter. It really comes into shelter. I'm not talking about Dior gowns and Chanel dresses. That's nice too if you get that, but I mean like clothing, like he should be able to provide you with basic clothing or an allowance for such. And um, on the same kind of um, line, I'm gonna add self-care. He should be pay. He should be able to pay for some of your things to keep you looking all pretty. You know, maybe he pays for you to get your hair done or your nails done or whatever you get done. You know, a massage. But he invests in your self care and he benefits from that. Right, a woman that's full of luxury and pleasure from the inside out is like it's like men are like honey you know like it's like honey for them they're like bees and it's like oh okay it's really delicious for them so they're gonna want to invest in that number five this is a huge one ladies if you are sleeping with a man i won't get into it in this video about whether you should be sleeping with him or not before marriage but if you are sleeping with a man he needs to be able to provide you with medical insurance oh my god i am watching with my my husband and i are obsessed with married at first sight and in season 15 the current season there is a woman who her husband won't give her won't put her on her medical insurance and he's sleeping with her that is a huge huge no-no now obviously back in our caveman cavewoman days we didn't have a health insurance right so this is a modern day evolutionary basic, but it's important. Look, when you sleep with a man, you are opening yourself up to all kinds of things. First of all, you're going from being a girl to becoming a woman. With being a woman requires certain medical attention, right? When we're sleeping with men, we can get UTIs, we can get pregnant, we can have miscarriages. We need proper proper medical care. So unless you have you know, a great a medical plan from your own work and you don't wanna change that, that's fine. Whatever works for you, but you need to have some kind of medical insurance and he needs to be able to provide that if you don't. Otherwise, you're gonna have to Make sure that you're healthy in other ways by not sleeping with him because that is just not acceptable. I think that was like day two of our marriage that Irfan immediately added me to his medical uh, insurance plan. I was an entrepreneur before that. You guys know I was in real estate, so I did not have insurance. I had to pay for it to get it. So when I quit that and moved in with him to his state, he had to provide that for me. So absolutely, he should be providing you with medical insurance. Uh, if you are sleeping with him. Number uh, five is, I think I may have skipped around. I always mess up with the category, the numbers. So anyways, any children's needs. So food and shelter for the kids, clothing for the kids, education, medical expenses. So when I got married to my husband, I had a son from my previous marriage. My, my husband immediately added him to his insurance, made sure he had food, shelter, clothing, um, you know, anything that he needed. And so children's needs are the responsibility of the father and he is supposed to be providing that. Um, I have a few more things that I wanna add as luxurious extras. These are optionals, but I've gotta go pick up my kids. So I'm gonna talk to you in the car. Okay guys, I am back. So here are some of the extras or optional things that a man may choose to provide for you. He absolutely doesn't have to provide these things. It just depends. And the reason that I say he doesn't have to it, because sometimes 
you may have a career or a business or you just may want to pay for some of these things like it really doesn't matter the reason that we're wanting men who provide is not so much about the money this isn't like you know we're thirsty for money like we all know women make a ton of money these days like it's not about the money it's about making sure that we're ending up in relationships with people that are healthy and this is just one way it's a significant way the protection and providing of a man that shows that he is ready to be a husband and a father so it's more about the intention behind it um, Lord knows that my husband has provided for me in so much more ways than money even before I started working and having my own money in this business he was providing me with you know social support emotional support his family is my huge network of support that I have right my husband's family has lawyers uh, doctors specialists in every field and anytime I need something I know that that's my network of support that's something that the man provides through his family and social network so it goes beyond money but it shows his character his uh, integrity his honor his respect and his place in society and those are the type of men that get to uh, have us and get to reproduce and pass on their genes so that's what I believe that you should be looking out for those evolutionary basics but here are some ex extra optional things luxuries such as a vacation um, so that's something that he can choose to provide. I have clients where the man provides all of the evolutionary basics and then, you know, uh, because of the stage of life that they're in, maybe they're saving for a house or they have other financial goals, then the woman um, pays up for uh, to upgrade the vacations or things like that. There are no rules to this, right? We're making sure that we're in a healthy marriage and relationship and being with someone that can provide for us and protect us really nourishes the feminine soul and it is this is you know true of all major religions of the world it's just how we have evolved how we're wired and so this is one of those things that religion got right and when we mess up our evolutionary history and what we have evolved to do it just creates a lot of disaster and chaos and relationships as is the current state right of affairs i'm in the car line some of you guys know what the car line is <laughs> let me get to the next station and then yeah i'm like blocks away from my child's school but the line goes all the way back okay the other thing is um retirement support right so if you get married and then you quit your job well you still need to have some kind of a retirement support so this can come in the way of life insurance it can come with being a beneficiary on his 401k and other things it just depends maybe you have your own retirement money from the business that you have or the job that you have and you don't need that but this is an optional thing when i got married Irfan wanted me to be a stay-at-home mom he retired me at 28 i got married at 27 but then i turned 28 right like the next month so at 28 he retired me which i was an entrepreneur before that right so i didn't have a 401k plan or any of that stuff so he added me to his stuff he added me to his life insurance he added me as a beneficiary to his retirement plans he added me to all his bank accounts he added me to all of his credit cards because you know he's building a family with me and he is taking me under his protection and his honor and in his ties right and so men provide for you even after they're gone they really do like a good healthy provider masculine man is going to want to take care of you forever so they're going to want to make sure that if something were to happen to him god forbid that you and your children would be okay and this is true even if you decide not to have kids providing doesn't have anything to do with kids it has everything to do with health emotional psychological spiritual health with being a grown person that is it for me today please subscribe if you're new here give this video a thumbs up and let me know which one is your favorite and what do men in your culture provide i love one of the things from my culture and actually this is true in um in judaism as well as islam in these two religions they make it very clear on what the man is supposed to be for providing and let me know if this is also true in christianity i know the man is supposed to provide in christianity i just don't know if it's 
Um, I don't remember if it's like very clearly documented as it is in those two other religions. And I do appreciate that because it gives people a great jumping off point of what their roles are in that relationship. So let me know if this is true for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.